could wear the mask. So I am your father. Get over here! This is the way. Guys, Retro Toy Closet coming back to you with another retro review unboxing, and this time we're going back to 2016. That was the year Captain America The Civil War was released, and that was also the same year that Hot Toys dropped their version of the Winter Soldier, uh, played by Sebastian Stan. Now, that figure itself. It's easily a $400 figure and up. So there was a few third-party companies that they threw their hat out there and they tried to put their little best out that they could as a version of the Winter Soldier, Sebastian Stan. Uh, the particular one that I found is this mysterious mystery third-party company that just calls themselves Third Party 23. Um, I've tried looking them up. I haven't found anything on them, but when I went looking for a Winter Soldier, because for me personally, I thought the Winter Soldier from Civil War or from Captain America's, um, uh, the Winter Soldier, I thought that was the better version of Bucky. Like they have the new versions. I, they're okay, but they're not the badass Winter Soldier that I liked. So I went with this third-party company, and I surprisingly got this one for really cheap. You know, I found it up under some misspellings that the seller had, and I picked it up for under two hundred dollars. I'm not going to tell you the exact price, but it was under two hundred dollars. So considering that's like $150 to $200 savings compared to other third-party companies or even Hot Toys, I'm going to jump all over it. So we're going to go ahead and uh, get this figure open and then see what all he comes with for this third-party 23 version of Civil War Winter Soldier. Okay. Busting into that first layer of this third party representation, you see that we have none other than Bucky Barnes, the Winter Soldier, with two additional hands. So, um, he basically comes with, they're not even considered a full set because it's only just the metal arm that they're giving you additional hands with. Uh, there's no figure stand, there's no additional accessories. So, I, I really want to go back and look and see what the original asking price was for this one if I can find it because I'm, I'm really interested um, I hope the guy they weren't trying to get more than 150 bucks for this originally but uh, yeah that's all he comes with no, nothing additional so let's go ahead and get him out of the box itself and it's actually not bad you know that does here, I'll bring it a little closer. You can see Sebastian Stan at certain angles. It's not bad, but it's not the best. Um, the suit, the suit is good. It could be better. Um, the metal arm actually looks really good. The way they did that when it came out really well. I like that. It's only a single joint. There's no double joint on this one, so um, boo-hoo to that. Not going to get too crazy on the, the poses with him with uh, a single arm or a single articulation. Pants, pretty basic, but it gets the point across of being the Winter Soldier. Fairly well for uh, on his own without a figure stand, so that's always a plus. Um... His additional hands, the sculpt on them isn't bad. 
It looks good. Now, this is supposed to represent his left middle hand. And then the next one. I guess you could use that as like a choking one, like he's choking out Captain America or something. That looks pretty good. Unfortunately, he doesn't come with any guns or anything, so we're not going to get that out of them. But luckily, I have a, uh, a few extra accessories for, from some other characters that I bought over the years. Alright, so back to the figure himself. Uh... He actually surprisingly has a double joint on the bend on the knees. It's nice and smooth, not stiff. Uh, I like the jacket. It's not Hot Toys quality, but it still looks very, very well designed. And like I said, I like the arm. The head sculpt, it is what it is. You know, I, I could go ahead and spend the money and swap it out with a Hot Toys version, but, you know... I don't want to get too crazy into this figure because, you know, Bucky was never really one of my top fives in the MCU movies. He's just like a nice filler to go next to Cap, and I'll just leave him at that. But like I said, third-party representation, under $200. I think I got a pretty good deal on this one. So let me know what you guys think down in the uh, the comments. Let me know. What you guys think about this third party representation or if you even heard of this one from back when uh, companies were first dropping these out. I know some companies have been starting to make other models over 2019 and 2020, but honestly, I don't remember this one during that time. But uh, like I said, if you guys know any information on that, leave it down in the comments. Let me know. Educate me on this one. This was just like a wild goose find that I found surprisingly up under some uh, six scale Spider-Man that I was looking at and I found this one. But um, as usual, like, comment, and subscribe. Get our name out there. Get the alpha rhythm going. And as usual, guys, stay retro. Stay retro.